you have the sense of learning about a different culture or a different people, a different environment, and you have that sense of discovery of going in and immersing yourself. A good travel account will try and decipher that and figure out what are the connections between people or where did they come from or why do things fit together the way they do. I think what you learn from a travel account is the sense of seeing anew that the traveler has that you couldn't get from a source that's generated within that community. A lot of Americans and others go to the Soviet Union in the 1920s and 1930s because it's such a striking contrast. And so there are a number of travel accounts where it starts with the traveler encountering this new society, this new socialist society. And you can get some of that from the Soviet side, but not in the same way. A good account will say, in this account, I went in looking for these examples, but here's what I also found and also have sufficient material in there that can be then interpreted, even if that's not the main thing that they're talking about. I would say the ones that are less satisfactory are the travel accounts where their experience is very narrow and they make much larger claims than what they're actually seeing. So they make broad claims about society and then when you actually read through it carefully and say, well, who did they talk to? They had an interpreter, they talked to a very narrow group and then they left or they were picked out and then they make these very broad claims. Somebody who comes into society for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and then leaves, well, how much credibility does that have? Often you have this dynamic of a traveler from not only a literate culture, but also a culture that prioritizes and rewards discovery and description. The West Europeans in the 17th to 18th century, you know, there's a lot of interest in going into other countries and writing about them. And so there's a real attention to that and discourse of that, and there's a very sophisticated level of description. Many of the cultures they're encountering are not very literate, and more importantly, they don't value that kind of discussion. And so there you have a very striking contrast between a traveler's account that will be very rich, lots of anecdotes, lots of descriptions of people, lots of reported conversation, versus an indigenous document that may be much more sparse.